Hello, welcome back to the channel in Pharmacon Solutions. Remember, we are in pharmacognosy today, and uh, this lecture we are talking about the pharmaceutical aids, all those products from, from pharmacognosy which have no therapeutic value or which have little or no therapeutic value. I'm talking about the gelatin, wax, coloring, ag coloring agent, sweetening agent, flavoring agents, most of they have done the flavoring in. Uh, water oils uh, so what are pharmaceutical aids because pharmaceutical aids these are natural products obtained from plants or animals or even of mineral sources but with little or no therapeutic value but they are used in compounding pharmaceuticals have flavoring agents of course we know these ones the water oils which we discussed earlier on Coloring agents, sweetening agents, emulsifying agents, ointment bases. That ointment bases, uh, we have cocoa butter from cocoa, you know, from cocoa. Sutures, of course, these are fibers, trichomes of uh, the raw cotton, saponins, and very many others. These are just simple examples. So, which are those pharmaceutical aids that we shall discuss in this in this in this presentation? uh we have a uh, hard wax wax of course is a hard solid obtained uh, containing esters dyed from higher monohydric alcohols combined with fatty acids now uh I'll here i'll just give examples but for example with beeswax there are types of beeswax eh? you need to know how to extract beeswax from from the combs the honeycombs apis merifera and again you need to know uh, how to test for beeswax eh? they are all there they're in standard books you know because they're in standard books or you can contact us for more information lanolin wool wax also shellac wax from the lac insect toria laca vegetable waxes now these are the canauba wax eh? canauba canauba wax canauba wax the leaves of coparinica coparinicia Serifera. Now, I remember I, I asked for forgiveness earlier in case I pronounce the names poorly, but um, I know we can go on and show you know, the spelling. Uh, we have minerals wax or petroleum wax. Of course, these ones are used as uh, ointment uh, in ointments, of course, as bases or as emulsifiers. Let's go to gelatin. Of course, gelatin is a product obtained by partial hydrolysis of animal. Collagen derived from skin of porcine or bovine, that is the bones, uh, and uh, of course, and other white connective tissues. Now, again, there are types of uh, gelatin. We have type A, of course, type A obtained from hydrolysis of pork skin, as uh, well as porcine, or type B, the hard gelatin obtained by hydrolysis of animal bones. Eh? They give up and form hard gelatin. Now, again, there are processes of extracting each gelatin from each sources, from each source. Eh? There are steps which are supposed to be followed. Which are, what are the uses and the tests for this gelatin, the bloom strength and all those other tests? I'm sure you are aware of. Of course, what are the uses? The constituent of capsule shell, this is very important. And of course, in this is supposed to be, we have glass of gelatin base. And of course, the thickening agent. Now, the coloring agents, may I'll just go straight to the examples which are from, nat from natural origin. You have saffron, dried stigma, tops of styles of crocus, sativus, eh, crocus, sativus, contain this golden yellow orange color. Maybe the color may have changed. Have the red pulpy petals, petals of papava, rose, rose. The red beetroot, of course, we know this beetroot, it can also be used as a source. Beta vulgaris. Cochineal, this is an insect female from the female insect. Doctylpias coccus. Mm -hmm. Show you know the spreading, my pronunciation may be poor, but not a brilliant purple color. Anato seeds from this Bisa olerana. Also, the red rose, the red, the red rose petals, eh? the dried petals of Rosa gallica. Now, uh, 
today most of today's uh, coloring agents we see they are obtained from synthetic sources but uh, again there are those colors which can be obtained from natural because we are in the pharmacogon so we, are, we want everything to be natural we have minerals we have talc uh, talc obtained from magnesium silicate used as lubricant of tablets using lubricant is as a lubricant in tabletting yeah? kaolin dusting powder or the area bentonite in creams diantomite this one of course is tasteless gray white powder it was it is used in filling of teeth now however these windows I've, I've explained here they are those which act as aid but we have the minerals which are of pharmaceutical importance sodium chloride name them magnesium sulfate name them you know them but they are mean those are which are which have little or no therapeutic value yes let me briefly explain nutraceuticals uh uh nutraceutical this any substance that is a food or part of a food which in addition to its normal mineral con mineral value provides a medicine or health benefit including the prevention and treatment of diseases now this is a, this, of course we know that most foods contain nutrients however they can also be used to prevent uh, uh, diseases we have the probiotics these are live microorganisms bacteria that promote the gut health also with a good gut health uh, you can it is, it is okay we have lactobacillus acidophilus where do we find this is it in yogurt i don't know where we have the prebiotics these are the energy supportive substances that restore natural balance of microflora and enrich the colon hmm? these are the prebiotics they are very important because with the normal microflora uh, because when you overtake antibiotics you can get super infection because of uh, you are killing the microorganism and you are leaving uh, the fungi to grow that's why uh, you no know, all our gut they have these microorganisms which are very important others uh, calcium of course we know calcium we have vitamins we have zinc zinc is used in the children we have diarrhea Jacoba, this one is used in memory loss. I think I've looked at this one later on. Flax itself is very important to prevent cancer and reduce blood pressure and lower cholesterol, even diabetes. Flax seed, this one is available in supermarkets. A small seed. We have garlic, of course, you know the use of garlic, you know, ginseng, improves stamina. Soya beans is used in uh, because it contains estrogen like components. So it is good in menopausal women who have those issues ginga and very many others uh, so this is just a simple explanation about nutraceuticals again it has been a short presentation uh i always remain wilson it has been brought to you by informal training solution contact us like the video subscribe to my channel for more videos and thank you very much